Welcome to Vikings Game Plan from the TCO studio. Paul Allen, very happy to be joined by Ryan Ficken, the assistant special teams coach. Ryan has been here 13 years, came here with Brad Childress, and from Brad through Mike, we just saw a joyous head coach after a convincing victory. What's it been like working with Mike during your career? Oh, it's been great. I mean, he's a coach that, you know, he's a great player coach in terms of he demands excellence from these guys and he gets what he's asking for. I mean, he's a very detailed in terms of his technique, his fundamentals. The guy knows a lot of X's and O's. He's been around a lot of football, a lot of great players. And so it's been great to go ahead and learn from him and take away from what he's teaching these guys and what he's built here so far and uh, what he continues to build, it's been phenomenal to be a part of. Now, Ryan, from your perspective uh, and or Marwan Malouf, the special teams coordinator, when it comes to high level play on coverage teams, what are some keys? It's toughness and just the desire to want to. I mean, you got to, yeah, it's nice to have those physical traits to be able to, you know, be bigger, stronger, faster than everyone, but also it's, it's that desire to want to, and we got to be able to flip the field, uh, play that complimentary football that coach is asking us to do, and on punt, it's netting what we punt, you know, so whatever we're punting right there, we're not getting any returns. We're going ahead and net what we punt. We got to be disciplined with our lanes, and uh, we got to make sure we minimize any kind of returns so we can flip that field for our, for our team. And uh, same thing with uh, kickoff, and we got to continue to do that and, uh, you know, get that long field for our defense so they can go ahead and pin their ears back and get after the offense. Minnesota Vikings kicker Dan Bailey went four of four on field goals at MetLife Stadium, six of six overall, including the extra points, and he was named NFC Special Teams Player of the Week. What's it like working with Dan? Uh, Dan's great. He's a true professional. Uh, I love working with him. I mean, he's got expertise in terms of, you know, kickoffs and field goals, but he brings a, another part of it, uh, the veteran leadership to these guys. Um, so it's been great. I mean, it's a true testament, though, and not just to Dan, but it's also to the specialists and also the rest of the field goal unit team in terms of pr protection for him. But uh, the operation, I mean, it's not going to just it's not just Dan kicking it. I mean, in terms of the whole operation, making these field goals, it's it's the snap. It's the hole that, you know, with Colquitt, um, it's not easy to go ahead and get that hole, put it down in the same spot that, you know, Dan's expecting to be with the tilt, with the strings uh, and doing it all in 1.3 seconds. You mm. know, that's that's a pretty tough task, but uh, these guys are professionals and they do it at a high level. So very fortunate to have these guys on our team and uh, continue to hopefully win some more games for us. And Ryan, in fairness, I mean, from the rookie long snapper through the veteran punter holder through Dan Bailey, you know, who has 11 game winners in his career, it in fairness, it wasn't as easy getting to this point as maybe it has been in the past. In the preseason, you guys went through a lot to get to this point. We did, and I think that's actually why we're able to see some of that you know, pay off right now because we're able to get through that. We kept the best guys on, on the roster, and, and I think that's where we're actually, you know, are flourishing right now in terms of that because they're able to win the competition, they battle through it, and now they're all, you know, gelling together, and you're kind of seeing that, fin that product right now as we continue to ex uh, excel through the middle of the part of the season into the end of the year. So I think a lot of great things are yet to come. With these guys. Now, your kicker at times can be quiet, uh, and your long snapper is new, so he's probably not going to formulate big opinions until he settles in. <laughs> Your punter holder, Britton Colquitt, Super Bowl winner with the Denver Broncos, he's a veteran. He has a gregarious, outgoing personality. Mm -hmm. Is it great having a guy like Britton to loosen things up for everybody in that room or with special teams? Oh, definitely. I mean, it's always nice to have a guy like that in there. I mean, but he is a true professional, too. I mean, he's ready to, I mean, it's time to work. He's ready to work. He's ready to go, and he's going to get his work in. But it is fun to go ahead and break up that, um, you know, monotony a little bit in terms of it in a long week. And, and so, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to get a little laugh here and there. And, you know, ta I talked to you before about these muscle shirts that we have and um, mm -hmm. that he's, you know, passed out. He's carried around from Cleveland to Denver to here. And, uh, he's, you know, everyone loves these shirts. And, you know, it's a hot item. So you, you got one now. So uh, <laughs> we've got to make sure, you know, you, you uh, put that on a few times. Yeah. Uh, I, if I wear that <laughs> muscle shirt that they presented me for the radio show X's and O's on Vikings game plan, the viewership goes down to one person. It's probably Britton Colquitt, the one who gave it to me. I completely disagree. I think that thing's going to it's going to go up. <laughs> uh, now, in closing, main man Marcus, Marcus Sherrills, yes. back with the Minnesota Vikings, five punt return touchdowns, most in the history of Minnesota Vikings football. Uh, Marcus is one of the most likable players uh, I've experienced in my 18 years here. You probably would say the same in your 13. What are some qualities that makes Marcus special? That list can go on. I mean, he is a true professional. I mean, he's taking diligent notes. I mean, he's He's always, you know, watching tape. Uh, I mean, you talk about technique, he can go ahead and take it from the classroom right on the field without any kind of walkthrough. I mean, he's ready to go at all times. I mean, he's a true professional, but he's got great acceleration as a returner. I mean, he brings value as a gunner. 
uh, on, on kickoff as well. So he's a core teamer. And then on defense, I mean, he does everything that's asked for him, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, at the corner position. But he's really a pleasure to be around, um, you know, especially in this locker room. And uh, we're very fortunate to have him back.